finest professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. You know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And while that might be a great little phrase for people like you to remind you to eat healthy and take care of yourself, they don't mention what kind of apple, really. You know, you got your Granny Smith, you got your, your Fuji. But what about the bad apples? More specifically, what about the bad apple, as in the bad apple Matt McIntosh, the master and commander of the orchard? And I'm here at Capital Wrestling, and I'm done playing games. Mike Law, I'm done with your little intergender championship. I'm here for the big bucks. I want that Capital Wrestling title. And I'm here, officially, to put everybody on notice that when I get through with you, when you stand across from me in my orchard, you better hope that you have your doctor on speed dial. How do you like them apples? Get with it or get lost I'm in another altitude when I hit the song More bottles, more trees Roll it up, that's the recipe Yeah, that's the recipe You could get with it or get lost I'm on another altitude when I hit the song More bottles, more trees Roll it up, that's the recipe Yeah, that's the recipe Welcome to the major leagues. It's time to bring the big bats out. Got my pinch in his runner, trying to get the home plate while the fiends touch base. They gon' be the dark night, nine K, nothing to eight. Trying to tap into my major like Nova can't lace. Bars on the bars, that's time I'm about to face. Pro track figures, so these niggas can't trace. Capital Wrestling fans, you are now able to represent Capital Wrestling by wearing your own official Capital Wrestling t shirt from Pro Wrestling Tees. Whether or not you're royal, our royal blue t-shirt will show that you are loyal to the Capitol. Order now for only $19.99 at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Capital Wrestling.
that we have all been waiting for, and I'm super excited. The Capital Wrestling Champion is... Broadcast table, Stephen, and uh, Bo Crockett. Already, you can see the Capitol roster. Very upset at the crowning of the yes. Capitol Wrestling. Ken champion. Dixon says yes. Ken Dixon is the Capitol. That's not how belts work. I'm sorry, Stephen. up here he said yes oh now, will you Logan, stop it instead of receding how about you go a little forward with that hairline and play my music and uh, putting the sound guy in check putting the sound guy in check indeed I'm Ken gonna Dixon. get to the bottom of this by the end of tonight I'm getting to the bottom 
all of this. Keep digging, but the fact of the matter is, possession is nine tenths of the law. You can tell by the faces on the Capitol Wrestling roster out here. Just utter confusion here. This is this is the silliest thing I've ever seen in professional wrestling. What are you talking about? There's been plenty of sillier things. How can you buy a belt? This is not in the rich tradition of the NWA Championship, of the WWF Championship. This is in the rich tradition of lunacy. Oh, come on. Ludicrous. Someone get this man out of the ring. You would kick the Capital Wrestling Champion out of the ring? How dare you, Steven? I, I don't know if... Can you really call him the recognized Capital Wrestling Champion? Recognized or not, he has the belt and the possession is nine-tenths of the law. Nine-tenths of the law, indeed. And some of the uh, Matt Sex Cells, of course, having zero class, ruining this beautiful ceremony. But no surprise there. Capital Wrestling Locker Room, of course, taking exception to the way that this went down. Well, they can be as unhappy as they want, but the fact of the matter is, Matthew Ryan Shapiro legally owns this belt. Therefore, he has the right to give it to whomever he wants. And I got a feeling that we're in for a fantastically wonderful time here. If the era of championship Shapiro has begun, Ken Dixon, rightfully so, the first ever Capital Wrestling Champion. Coming up next, it's the one above all, the wrestling god, Anthony Gangone, taking on the Bad Apple. Matt McIntosh. This episode of Capital Wrestling is brought to you by the Squared Circle Sound Off. Join host Sean O'Brien as he discusses the biggest news in the world of wrestling and with some of the up-and-coming stars and members of the wrestling community. New episodes every Thursday at WLWstudios.com. Capital Wrestling fans, you are now able to represent Capital Wrestling by wearing your own official Capital Wrestling t-shirt from Pro Wrestling Tees. Whether or not you're royal, our royal blue t-shirt will show that you are loyal to the capital. Order now for only $19.99 at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Capital Wrestling. This is Ken Dixon, and you are watching Capital Wrestling. We just crowned a new champion. That we did is not fantastic. crown a new champion. Absolutely. What Can't we did was we witnessed a robbery live here in Hoboken. You cannot just uh, buy a championship belt. You cannot well, just place just a championship belt on someone. It, it's ludicrous. Let's get on with the damn show. We, had, we already saw the best part. The wrestling god, Anthony Gango. The one above all himself being played to the ring by the one and only August on Sunday. And this is the first of our two main events. That's right. And look at that jacket. Looks like he skinned one of the Muppets. Uh, he's in the main event, which is what he wanted, but guess what? 
he's going to be taking on the bad apple, Matt McIntosh. Matt McIntosh looking for that apple opponent. slicer, that handspring ace crusher. There's a lot going on here tonight. This is a match. I know you can't concentrate. We, we found out some great news tonight. It's great, not great news. I don't know how you can say that this is great news. I think it's fantastic. We crowned a new champion. Crowned a new champion. From the Rotten Orchard, at 213 pounds, he is the Rotten Apple, McIntosh. Matt McIntosh, the bad apple, of course. He wants the introduction done again, rightfully so. I stand corrected. The bad apple, Matt McIntosh. And Matt McIntosh, if you don't, at first you don't succeed, do that announcer, do the announcing again. Michael Buckley. Poor guy. Listen, maybe he's a little flustered by the news, too. This right here, this matchup right here, could have been for the Capital Wrestling Championship. It's that high quality. That's how championships should be decided. Many heading into tonight thought that Anthony Gangone was the clear frontrunner to be named Capital Wrestling Champion. Well, listen, I mean, you know, whatever. It can still, it can still be the number one contender. What's wrong with that? The number yeah. one contender? Yeah, so, to the so, Capital Wrestling Championship. So wait, how much is that? You got to pay $25, $2,000 to become number one contender? Are we just selling spots now? Well, listen, if this spot is available, I guess Marcus Dowling should have paid his bills. Oh, stop it. On time. I'd like to see the receipt on that belt. Well, Marcus looked at it. Seems legit, but... Collar and elbow, elbow tie-up. Go behind. A rear wrist lock there. McIntosh grabbing the head, roll through. Into a side headlock. Gangone trying to force him off. Gangone with the wrist lock now. Both men feeling each other out. These two are no strangers to each other as they have faced before. And Matt McIntosh looking for some sort of measure of revenge here. As in the past, Gangone has had the upper hand. Gangone breaking clean. Sign of sportsmanship and respect here by the one above all. It's a classic case of confidence versus ego here. Well, here's the difference between confidence and ego. It's victory and defeat. I mean, if, you know, it's only ego when you lose. It's confidence when you win. That's how it works. And look at this, Anthony Gangone letting Matt McIntosh know just how close he came. And McIntosh obviously not thrilled that he's not the Capital Wrestling Champion. I get it. He was one of the people who thought he should be champion. Gotta collect myself. Well, at least if Matt McIntosh was involved, if this was decided in the ring, I could feel a little bit better. Just buying and giving away, it's like kissing your sister. Who enjoys that outside of West Virginia? Matt McIntosh not in a hurry to get into the ring. Senior official Mike Keener. Well, I'll be honest with you, he's got to be unfocused on this match. Uh, quite frankly, after what happened there, after being hornswoggled, as he would put it. But Hornswoggled or not, we're in for a rocket buster of a match. Gangone looking to control the pace, but McIntosh doing a little bit of the same on his own here. Another lockup in the center of the ring. And Matt McIntosh looking to hit the apple slicer to end this, but with Anthony Gangone, I mean. Dreams by the waterfall can come from out of nowhere. Both of these guys explosive. As you can see right here, single leg drop kick. Two of the area's best talents facing off here at Capitol. You wonder what's going through the minds of both men right now. And another chop from Gangone. The force. And Gangone going for it again. And again, that knife edge chop. 
See, Gangone doing the right thing because he needs to control the pace of this match to prove he is one above all. Can, and controlling the pace is what he's doing right now. Standing uppercut there. Cover one, only a one count. Matt McIntosh not letting that happen, not like that. Both of these men are warriors here. Oh, but there it is. The mean street of Matt McIntosh. With a run to the eye, looking for the apple slicer, and he got it, could that be it? But no, Gangone wisely rolling out of the ring. McIntosh unable to capitalize there on that apple slicer, that springboard ace crusher. And the Hoboken crowd, not that in love with Matt McIntosh, but it doesn't matter. He's not here for their approval. Matt McIntosh, Gangone taking, taking a little every extra time. Second. Yes. Yeah. Now McIntosh will chase because he's had enough. On the outside, you can't win this matchup on the outside, though. Look at the front row. The Capital Citizens getting a face full. Ooh, a nice Ooh, chop. Stiff. You can hear it all the way up here on the commentary desk. Those front, those, uh, front row seats worth every penny here at Capital Wrestling. Worst comes to worst, anyone gets their teeth knocked out. It's not a big deal. They only have one or two left. So, Come on. We have, there's a beautiful crowd here. Well, you know they held a beauty contest here in Hoboken. What is Gangone looking for here? Everybody came in last. Setting up for something. Oh, goodness. Gangone going for it. Oh. Ooh, from the other side. Smashed. Taking his breath away. And referee Mike Keener uh, being a little liberal with the count, but I like it, to be quite honest, letting these two fight it out. If there's anything senior official Mike Keener is known for is letting men settle it in the middle of the squared circle. That's why what happened earlier with the Capital Wrestling Championship has to be weighing heavy on not only him, but Marcus Dowling. Oh, what are you talking about? So they got duped, that's all. Listen, Matthew Ryan Shapiro is a genius. He outsmarted them. Forget, forget about Better that's Call Saul. That's not smart. That's dumb. Forget Better Call Saul. You better chat Matt. That's what you got to do. Better chat Matt. And Matt McIntosh taking out his aggression. Ooh, spitting out a piece of flesh. Maybe. And hung up. Hung up on that rope. Posing. Giving the crowd something to cheer for, finally. And Gangone better step it up. Otherwise, he's in big trouble. The one above all looking to use his divine confidence here. Oh, thumb to the eye. Look at that, the entertaining. And I know a thing about entertainment, Steven. I'm an entertainer. That was entertaining. Who have you entertained? Oh, come on. I'm, uh, I'm an actor, comedian, a writer. I've entertained lots of people. Uh, I entertain I've, the Capital Wrestling audience every week. And look at this. I've never heard of it. Hung up in a tree of woe here. Well, you're not my type of audience. I like people who, uh, who read. Here we go. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, no. And uh, this man may want a family someday. It's a rest hold, Steven. What do you want? A rest hold. That flip. Ooh, nice. Into that drop kick. Cover. One, two. And here's where that, that's where referee Mike Keener's sort of liberal policy about what he can and can't DQ comes against Anthony Gangone because he could have disqualified McIntosh. But he knows for a fact that Gangone is looking for a measure of revenge here against Matt McIntosh. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't matter because Anthony Gangone, as he showed earlier, when he rolled out of the ring during that apple slicer, always knows where he is at all times. It's going to be very difficult to put the one above all away. A sky high there, and Gangone looking to settle the momentum down and get back in this matchup. Maybe to set up for the... Uh, the dreams by the waterfall, that right. inverted GTS. Both men, as I alluded to earlier, explosive. Both of these finishers can come from out of nowhere. Wow. Both men getting to their feet. Gangone feeling the crowd here. Chops. An homage to perhaps the nature boy, Ric Flair, there. Nice shoulder block. tackle. There we go. And, and into Mac the corner. McIntosh in a little bit of trouble here. 
but smartly gets out of the way, avoiding Gangon. From the middle rope, spinning European uppercut, goes for the pin, one, two, two count only. See, this match is so close because these two are so talented, it's gonna come down who to who can hit their finisher first. Is it the apple slicer or? Well, we saw the apple slicer get hit by McIntosh, but again, the smarts of the wrestling god, knowing where he is in position to the ring, rolling out of the ring, or where what? McIntosh couldn't capitalize on. Look for those double knees there to no avail. Spinning, looking to get him up, perhaps. Turnbuckle powerbomb. And a spinning inside out lariat, looking for the cover one. Two. And Matt McIntosh kicking Two out. Two only. Not having it. Foot was underneath the ropes. You could see his feet. He touched the ropes. Matt McIntosh was trying to kick off the ropes. He knew his positioning. Either way, referee Mike Keener, senior official, made the right call there. His foot was touching the rope. It was near the rope. Under it, doesn't matter. Both men here showing amazing ring awareness here. Going up, looking for that. Dreams by the waterfall. Got him up. No. Missed underneath, roll up. Gut wrench. Got him up. Uh-oh. Got him up no. in a gut wrench. Gang going, trying to weasel his way out of it. Look at the power. Oh, wow. Flapjack. One. Two. Kick out by Gang going. Two only, only two. says senior official, Mike Keener. Gang going smartly escaping, because that would have been nasty for him the physical toll that is being taken as this match drags on is apparent on both men, but only Matt McIntosh right now standing. And now what smartly. is he looking for? Setting up for a top rope maneuver of some kind. The bad apple, will he fall far from the tree? Look for the double stomp, no dice. Uh-oh, setting up. Cover it, one, two. And almost. He almost turned his brain into apple juice, Steven. Uh, I hate you, Gangone. And Matt McIntosh saying he hates Gangone, lamenting what most of the, uh, most of it's at Capital Wrestling feel. Uh, if you, have you listened to this crowd? They are firmly behind Gangone here. Yeah, I mean the roster, the people who are educated. Looking for that apple slicer fans. setting it up. Springboard, go. goes for it. Oh, no. No. No, he's caught him. He's got him hooked up. He's getting him up. Look at the strength of Gangone. Dreams by the waterfall. And there it is. One, two, three. Winner of this match, the wrestling god, Anthony Gangone. The one above all victorious here against Matt McIntosh. Gangone coming away victorious, the wrestling god. And I do not pray, I pray for everybody in the back, speaking of gods, I pray for everyone, what they're gonna have to deal with with an angry Matt McIntosh, who's now 0-2 here in Catholic Wrestling. But Anthony Gangone on the right side, much closer to being the number one contender for the Capital Wrestling Championship, so he should be happy. For the legitimate Capital Wrestling Championship. Oh, there you have it, unbelievable.
This episode of Capital Wrestling is brought to you by the Squared Circle Sound Off. Join host Sean O'Brien as he discusses the biggest news in the world of wrestling and with some of the up-and-coming stars and members of the wrestling community. New episodes every Thursday at WLWstudios.com. Capital Wrestling fans, you are now able to represent Capital Wrestling by wearing your own official Capital Wrestling t-shirt from Pro Wrestling Tees. Whether or not you're royal, our royal blue t-shirt will show that you are loyal to the Capital. Order now for only $19.99 at ProWrestlingTees.com slash Capital Wrestling. The Bad Apple, Matt McIntosh. Tonight, it was you and I in Capital Wrestling. One of the biggest double main events in its history. And you tried to climb that mountain of divine madness. And you tried to beat a wrestling god. But you were not able to do that, were you, Matt? So what's next for Anthony Gangone here in Capital Wrestling? Well. I guess you're just gonna have to wait and see. 